Big Bird's arms were so full he couldn't wave goodbye to Betty Lou. It's a good thing Snuffy's cave isn't far, he said. What do you have there, Big Bird? said Count. The Count called from his castle window. One shoe box, one tin, one jar, two books. Wonderful! Big Bird told the Count why he was in a hurry. I have just the thing for your friend, the Count said. Wait here. After what seemed like hours to Big Bird, the Count came out of his castle and handed him a shoe of, and handed him a box of tissues. Snuffy can count them and count them as much as he pleases, and they'll come in handy whenever he sneezes, the Count said. <laughs> Crinkled, wrinkled tissues stuck out of the box. I counted them myself. There are two hundred tissues, the Count said. Big Bird tiptoed quietly past Glady's barn. My, my, you do have your hands full, said Glady. The cow? These are surprises for Snuffy, Big Bird explained. He has the sniffles. I've been trying all morning to go cheer him up. Well, any cow knows there's only one way to do that. Gladys here. Wait here. Not again, Big Bird said, but Gladys had already trotted into the barn. Gladys' cheer-up present turned out to be a pint of ice cream. It was soft and go soggy in the noontime sun. Nothing puts you in a good mood like ice cream, Gladys said. Her bell tinkled as she balanced the squishy ice cream carton on top of the wrinkled tissues and the books and the jar and the empty cookie tin and the shoebox. Big Bird watched the sticky pink drops fall onto his shoes. It's strawberry. Gladys explained. At last, Big Bird made it to Snuffy's cave without dropping a single present. He pushed open the front door with his foot. Then he had a terrible thought. I brought all these presents for Snuffy, and not a single one of them is from me. I forgot to bring Snuffy a present. Big Bird sighed a deep sigh and shifted the slippery pile of presents. I hope Snuffy won't be too disappointed, he said. And there was Snuffy, propped up on a huge stuffed pillows in his Snuffleupagus-sized bed. On a tray in front of him was a glass of orange juice, a box of cough drops, a coloring book, and a box of crayons. Snuffy had an ice pack on his head and a thermometer sticking out of his mouth. Mrs. Snuffleupagus took the thermometer out of Snuffy's mouth and studied it for a moment. No more fever, she said. She took a bottle and measured the thick orange sniffles medicine into a spoon. Snuffy swallowed it all. Mrs. Snuffleupagus gave him a big hug. Cheer up, son, she told him. You'll be out of that bed in no time. Uh-oh, Big Bird said. The cheer-up surprises were slipping from his grasp. Ah, uh, ah, uh, chew! Snuffy sneezed a gigantic snuffle sneeze that rattled everything in the room. The presents crashed to the floor. Oh, dear, said Mrs. Snuffleupagus. Big Bird stood in the doorway, feeling sadder than ever. How could he cheer up Snuffy now?